but for the hemophiliac community, many of whom self-administer their medication, the supply chain goes beyond the hospital and into their own home. And this represented the last furlong in securing the integrity of supply. Because we now know where everything is, we know exactly what it is and where it is and where it's going, the patients have a lot more confidence in the system. Um, we have also uh, given the patients a mobile phone with, that has a specific app on it which allows the patient to scan the medication just prior to infusion. When the patient logs on to our secure device, uh, we check to ensure that um, it's the correct treatment of choice for the patient. There's a safety element, important safety element for the patient. Secondly, we check also the expiry date of the drug. Uh, again, crucial for the patient to know. It's not always checked. Third, we also check to see if the drug is on a recall list. Uh, again, uh, all three very crucial health and safety related aspects for the patient. Uh, once uh, we have confirmed and validated that three points uh, are, are, are good, we then take certain clinical information from the patient, for example, where they have um, infused uh, uh, and, where, and any other details specific to the treatment. This information is then transferred back to the NCHCD, and also the patient has the opportunity to log on to a secure web portal and view the history of their treatment. If they're going to the consultant uh, in the near future, they can inform themselves by logging on and perhaps spotting some trends themselves. We are given a card for each child with a barcode, so the details um, comes up on the phone for each child once you scan in the child's card and then you um, scan in the, the, the treatment box has a barcode. So you scan in the barcode on the treatment box. So when, when you scan it, it, it goes uh, directly into the computer system. So it's, 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 it's recorded directly straight away. So say if um, either of the boys had a serious bleed, like a head injury, uh, and a scan straight away, and you told them it was a head injury, <clears throat> they would be able to um, ring you back and make sure that you get to hospital or you get the proper treatment straight away.